Hey everyone, I'm the real Evab. You're watching the A20 Guardian 100 game analysis. This is run number 78. Let's get started. Starting off with a ruby today. Our options are choose a card to obtain, uh, obtain 100 gold, remove two cards for 7 max HP, or the boss swap. That remove two is looking pretty darn good. Probably one of the best Niao options out there. Hmm. I'm seeing two elite, two campfire routes. Left side is super elite for at the cost of one campfire. I don't think we can do that. Uh, this is passable as an act path. Two upgrades, not counting the end of act, two upgrades, two elites is pretty good. Does force us to go through a shop is interesting. But I guess 7 max HP is totally worth that. 100 gold is good for a forced shop. Forced shop. But I think we can still do better with the remove 2. And I think I'm going to go with my usual strike and defend as my first 2. Although I have done double strike before. I think that loses to cultist though. I think there's a reason I stopped doing that. Might lose the jawworm too, so let's just do one and one. And I think I'm gonna go like this. Then we'll decide here. Oh, there's another shop there. Okay. Then I guess like this. Get three fights and a shop. Seems good. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, one of those could have been a defend if I had removed three stri uh, two strikes. Three strikes. Uh, this fight, you usually go into defensive mode pretty early. Turn two, in fact. So I'm going to just take the gear up here. Okay. Oh, it saved the second slam. Interesting. And we full block this turn. And the next turn we that comes out, but we have enough attacks anyway. Alright, easy fight. Oh, first floor sentry blast. Versus slime boss. That's not bad. Uh recently I've well my my last episode, uh no no spoilers, but I had some temp buffs in the form of gems and otherwise, and uh, it went pretty well. So I'm wondering if I'm undervaluing the temp buff gems. Because, like, I try to maximize my gem value. Um, try to put gems in cards that they match well with in order to get the best value out of them. But I might be undervaluing temporary buffs. Uh, even without a way to make them permanent. Uh, that being said, I'm still going to stick with the Sentry Blast for now. Because Sentry Blast is just that good. I don't want to have to enter defensive here, but in case they don't attack next turn. But I think it might be my only option. I think what I do here is gear up, curl up. Take the two damage and use the third energy to do, I guess, eight. Yeah. All right, let's see what we get. We got the twin slam. I think that's the best outcome. Oh, they did attack this turn. Great. So yeah, they're probably not attacking next turn. Don't know for sure, but if they are, even we'll play Sentry Wave. Already about halfway, although halfway isn't really halfway when they block. Oh wow, that's so much damage. It's a kill? Awesome. Oh, and we got probably the best potion Guardian has available to them, Polishing Oil. Uh, another Ruby, or Roll Attack. Probably just Roll Attack. I'm not a fan of putting Ruby into Twin Slam. 
Uh, that I don't think... Like, I, I was just talking about undervaluing temporary buffs, but I don't think Ruby works in Twin Slam regardless that well. I think there are weaknesses that flare up very often with that combo. Um... I'm going to go for this because it's going to attack for the most. Please, both of you attack me. Thank you. I didn't, wasn't, I didn't realize I was going to get all that damage this turn. I was just kind of thinking I would make the best use of defensive mode block if they both attacked. Wow. Alright. Two good potions. Ooh, interesting. Three uncommons. Refracted Beam, Amber, Evasive Protocol. It's a little bit early for the Amber, but also we got Sentry Blast 4-1. And that in Twin Slam would be incredible. And these two are a little bit underwhelming. I kind of like Protocols a bit more now. Refracted Beam is... I guess we have Ruby, but... Without a lot of strength, this is just very inefficient. <clears throat> 12 damage for 2 energy is not acceptable unless, I guess, you're silent and have Sneaky Strike with the discount available. And honestly, this uh, permanent upgrade thing, one extra hit, doesn't seem like the greatest thing. Uh, I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go Amber. We're about to hit a campfire as well. This is another fight. Interesting. I can just one-shot the louse here. That seems good. I thought it did 18 damage. I was wrong. Um, okay. Well. Alright, I guess I'm taking 6 for that mistake. Why did I think roll attack did 18? I don't know. Good news is we have thorns, so... It dies without having to waste any more damage. Priming shot. Priming shot does pair well with the roll attack. But... If we upgrade curl up, we don't need to have a pair with it. I'm kind of thinking of taking the Suspension here. Amber and Twin Slam, Ruby and Suspension. Get some Stasis stuff early. This is a really early Suspension with two removes. You could possibly go Infinite too. I don't really want to go Infinite, but I guess I'm not in such a, uh awful mood that I would completely avoid it this time. Do I have enough damage for the Elite? I guess we have... We got really good potions. I can probably greed this. Besides, Stasis is pretty powerful anyway. Ooh, 10 gold off these. It's a shame. We almost got average gold. Another Sentry Blast? Floating Orbs? Holy shit. Um. Yeah, I'm probably just gonna buy those. Floating Orbs, Sentry Blast. That's way too strong. Can't buy anything else? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Alright, strength in suspension. And accelerate in twin slam. And I am going to upgrade curl up, like I said, I think. The other option is suspension, but I really like this upgrade for now. And since we're still on 3 energy, I don't think this needs an upgrade yet. Meanwhile, this uh, gives me so much control, and it pairs with roll attack for 3 energy to enter defensive without having to use gear up so I get all the damage and block I want. For instance. Um, uh, it's a shame that this comes out in three. Because if I could, like, combo it, if I could put, cur if I could curl it up in stasis and then get it out immediately with Accelerate, then I'd be able to get this for free do all that damage, and gain a lot of luck. Thankfully I can still do, like, roll attack here to kill this instantly. This is 21. Okay. 
doesn't quite work. We're gonna go for this one. Now we enter defensive. Take five, which is alright. I would appreciate it if you didn't drop a potion, because I got two good ones and I don't want to waste my potion chance. Oh, I should have played Strike here. That was a mistake. Oh well. Yeah. Ugh. It's a good one, too. Might be better than Spear Potion. Because it also works versus sentries. Uh, temporal strike. If we got a quartz, that would be that would be an infinite. Um, I don't think we need to take any of these, honestly. Maybe the piercing hide for Act Two, but this is already so much damage. You know, if I get enough gold, maybe I do go for the shop and start removing aggressively, huh? There's also reroute here. I don't think we need it. We have we have floating orbs, double sentry blast. Do I want this more than Fear Potion? I guess it does kind of um, require Floating Orbs to be played early in the fight, but that's not that far-fetched with the Distilled Chaos. I could probably use it turn 1 versus Knob to give me a better chance of getting it. In fact, almost guaranteed in two turns. And if I get a card remove here, that makes it even easier. And an upgrade here. Although, this next elite, next floor is the Elite, so... Yeah, let's let's replace this. Okay, it is in fact not. Hey, we got floating orbs. I think I'm still gonna do this just to get it done fast. Especially because using this next turn it runs the risk of hitting uh, skills when Nob has their buff. So do this now. Get to draw through the deck a little bit and. Draw through the deck and what? Um, and get some free value. Oh yeah, now... Uh, oh, it's the last card. Damn it. At least I can twin slam it out. That's perfect block, good. Which means we're probably good for next turn, too. Because this is another 8 damage. Oh, we have just roll attack. <laughs> Alright, 0 damage knob fight. It's not something you see every day, but certainly are glad to see it when it happens. This is a floor, s floor 8 elite. I was going to say floor 6, but it's not that early. I guess 8 is still kind of early. Um, nope. No. Don't need it. And we got more than enough gold to take that uh, shop now, so I think I'm going to do that. We're going to already start uh, aggressively removing cards, hopefully. Uh, in fact, this deck may not even need a fourth energy, which would be great. Because you don't, because the less downside you have to take, the easier the infinite will come. Uh, Blood Vial? Actually, the infinite? I get, like I said, it's impossible. But honestly, a deck like this is already really, really good. Blood Vial? Yeah, I guess. Floating orb upgrade versus suspension. I think it's still still suspension right now, because front load is still important for hallways. And then we can upgrade this before the boss. We can also upgrade sentry blasts. But making sure we don't have a bad turn is really important too, so let's do that. Uh, decent potions, a second floating orbs. <laughs> Uh, no, I don't think we need a second one, honestly. Uh, versus a card remove, anyway. 
purity. Nah. I, I like the efficient life more than I like the uh, infinite life. These two words sound similar. Efficient, infinite. Maybe not as much as I thought, but ooh. Yes. And since we have such an aggressive uh, damage system, I think another strike can go over to defend. Maybe that's wrong. No, no, no. We have we got floating orbs, twin slam, roll attack. I guess this this strength suffers a little bit, but that's okay. It was mostly to get rid of our starting job anyway. Like it pairs well with a zero cost, but eh, it's not completely necessary. Let's put this in. Do I want defensive mode? Yeah, I guess so. Got some good cards coming up. They might not be attacking next turn. I don't remember how their pattern goes. Looks like they did, though. This is 16 versus, I guess, 18? 5-4, five, 5-4. Four, five, four. Yeah. These are going to come out anyway next turn, so... Might as well play. Good stuff. Gem Cannon is back. I'm going to go with Time Bomb, I think. Time Bomb has very specific synergies with our Sentry Blast. And is AoE, which is good for some fights. Yeah, I don't want Gem Cannon. Oh, Time Bomb Akabeko. Right. Uh, although that means I can't use Sentry Blast here like I want to. This is still 30 damage, plus 11 is not quite enough to kill this. I guess if I use this, we have so much HP, I don't, I don't need to use this, I save this for Act 2. Yeah, it's still got that bug. Ah, missed the 1 and 3, but that's okay. If I, if I get a couple damage cards here, I won't need to care about these guys attacking. Oh. Or I can do the very, very rare roll attack for AoE. <laughs> Pen Nib. I have Akabeko Pen Nib Time Bomb in a deck like this. You trying to take the spotlight from the Sentry Blast Floating Orb stuff? Have I been doing too much of that recently? Third Sentry Blast? Hello? Why? <laughs> like, yes, I'll take it. It's, it overloads my stasis, but another 4 damage every turn, as well as extra weaken, is insane. As well as the as well as the Penib stacking. It's also future plans, but most of our cards put most of our good cards put themselves in stasis already. So like Alright, maybe we do upgrade Sentry Blast at some point. Let's start with the floating orbs though. We do have to worry a little bit, we have a smaller deck, which means that uh, these slimes are going to come in and hurt us, but thankfully Floating Orb Sentry Blast is pretty damn good. Uh, do I use the Power Potion now? Or do I save it for next act, possibly? I'd probably just use it. Uh, oh, wow. That's a tough one. Probably... I can't say probably. It could be either one. Either one wins this fight. This one probably saves us more HP, though. Which means more HP for next act, so let's just do it. This splits already? I guess we don't play it then. Maybe this should have gone into stasis? Alright. Alright, here we go. Big damage. And 
fact, you're just dead. Turn three kill as guardian. What the hell is this? Uh, exploit gems? Okay. I think I found the infinite. <laughs> um, with suspension that does, in fact, go infinite. Should I be able to remove enough cards? Honestly, I'm down for it this time. Floating orbs will make it nice and easy. In theory. <laughs> wow, an Act 1 Guardian gear. Or I guess going into Act 2. No, this is an Act 1 Guardian gear. Oh, but there's also Empty Cage? Sheesh. I don't need Empty Cage to remove all these. I can just buy them. I've only removed once at a shop. So it's only 100 right now. The cost of removing all four of these would be 100 to 175, which is... 275 times 2, 550, which is definitely an attainable goal for 2x. And we do have the Act 4 shop as well, so in case our pathing doesn't help us. Yeah, I think we just take the absolute safety to set up. Alright, this is going to be a breeze, let's go. Mark our shops on the map. Those are probably more important. Oh, we didn't get a super elite here. And yeah, I'm actually feeling confident enough, because this strategy is broken as hell. I'm wondering if Sentry Blast could like use some kind of mechanical change and then get buffed to rare. Uh, I don't, I'm don't. i not a huge fan of cards that stay in stasis forever anymore. Like, There's a definitely novelty to it, but I'm getting a little bit bored of it. Uh, because instead of uh, juggling cards from your deck into stasis, you're just having the same thing every turn, or I guess in every other turn, every other turn in Sentry Blast. And, these, and this card is so good that like I want to take it most of the time, so it's always taking up a stasis slot. Is this the best route? Four elites or three elites, two campfires. It's pretty damn good. And we get all the shops we want. Yeah. Let's do it. Alright, time bomb, please. Would love time bomb this time. <sighs> do I have any way to stop the incoming damage here? I guess Sentry Blast Twin Slam does it, which means we save a few HP. This is 13 damage. Uh, and it stops it because the sentry wave comes out and I can weaken one of them this turn. We have thorns. Yeah, I can absolutely do this. 13 plus Double Amber Twin Slam. Or Amber and Exploit Gems. Yeah, I'll take another Amber. Gonna be a crazy, crazy deck. What the hell is this? <laughs> oh, I have Akabeko Roll Attack? Let's go. Oh, this isn't enough to kill them. I'm one off. Come on. Whatever. I'm not going to be losing that much HP this fact. Guess I could have used this. Second time bomb. Maybe it does synergize, and also it's something to put en uh, something to put energy into with all the zero cost cards we've got going on. 
We could take another suspension to make the infinite even easier, possibly, but eh. <laughs> Sack of gems. Interesting. Uh, it's definitely not Art of War. Could take a panic button for safety. I think we just card remove. That was our strategy. Uh, and I guess I want to keep my gold for the future shops. Panic button's nice. I don't think I need it. I can remove a card like this. Awesome. Do I go for another card remove here, then? I guess I do. Uh, I'll fight. Thanks. You guys can't handle this. No way, no how. Spiked energy drink. Not necessary here at all. So I skip it. Emerald. No, we're going to be removing our defense. Keep skipping. It's going to be a fast episode. Which is good, because I'm a little bit behind on my recording schedule, so... Opportunity to get this done fast would be great. This is 24 incoming damage. I can get it down to 9 with our current block and defend. Oh, I can play curl up too, because I have two accelerate in hand, not just one. Sure. Could use this now. Now nah, keep it. We're still doing so well that like I could even keep it in act three. It's that good of a potion. Plus two defensive mode. Wow. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I need some kind of, um, front-loaded block option. This is just a buffer plus, I think, at this point, but I'll take it. It'll help. Amber in exploit gems or in twin slam? I guess having the option to have it in two different ones is good. I kind of want to put something else in here, though. So maybe we just upgrade twin slam? It's an upgrade debt, though. I kind of want to upgrade the sentry blasts. Get some brace on them. Especially since I have so many. I guess it's like a protocol if I upgrade all three of them. You get an average of three brace per turn. So. That would put me in upgrade debt though, a little bit. I guess I have plenty of time through the game to upgrade stuff. When's the next campfire? Not until the... after the super? I guess it's still fine. We'll do it. Maybe we'll even find a different gem. But with the Twin Slams, the combo potential of Accelerate, Accelerate, Twin Slam is really, really good. Red Mask meaning that we don't need stuff turn 1 is pretty good too. I didn't take Orc Alchem from a chest, no. Chest is ahead. Um, alright. Don't need construction form, it seems. It is a little expensive, huh?
Bird faced urn for two powers. It's pretty nice. There's the quartz. There was a priming shot in a ruby there. Cryo chamber. We don't have to upgrade the sentry blasts? Holy shit. Yeah, okay. And also extra stasis space? I was looking for that too. That's incredible. <laughs> Alright, game's giving me a fun run. Despite the fact that there could be an infinite, I think this will still be very, very fun. Goodbye. Sentry? I am the sentry here, not you. Uh, we can skip these. Oh no, regenerating slavers. This would be so scary if not for the fact that this is really easy. Um, can we kill this this turn? This is normally 5, 7, 7, 5. So that's 22, 30. Uh, if I accelerate this twice, it comes back out at 7 damage. So 37 to one of these, which means that we're still pretty vulnerable to the damage incoming. Still don't need to use it. Um, they're already weak as well. So it's probably just better to do this and defend. <laughs> Take nine. That should be a kill. Yeah. Time capacitor. In case we didn't have enough stasis slots already. Maybe we don't? I don't think we need to take a, another card to handle that, though. There's no more relics that can give us stasis slots, but still. I don't care. Ooh. Dekka's washers might have been nice. We can get sphere killed card remove. That's pretty damn good. Another front-loaded block card is better going into the late game. I think that's worth spending 75 gold on. The fact that it's on sale is really nice. It's also panache here. Don't think we need that, though. Goodbye, defend. <laughs> Got one starter card left. Well, I don't need the upgrades anymore, right? Because we got... We got Cryo Chamber for our upgrades. I guess there is an argument for exploit gems, but we have so many campfires left in this game that I don't really need to do it now. Let's just take another leak, another relic. Is there any way to preserve... Yeah, the pen nib. I think I can, actually.
Because I got a bunch of zero costs coming up. We got some thorns here as well. Yeah, there we go. Very nice. Shield Charger. Stasis Strike. Shield Charger also good for uh, prolonged defense. Although, we're going infinite, yeah? In theory. So we don't even have to worry about, like, Awakened One. So long as we get one of these two relatively early, which shouldn't be too hard, we'll be able to full block the first couple turns and then go infinite for the rest. So, let's not add more setup. Don't take cards if you don't have to. Alright, Time Bomb is about to go absolutely sicko mode. 104 damage. Oh yeah, this roll attack isn't giving us brace anymore, it's just AoE. Which is kind of funny. Juzu bracelet. Repulsor. I'm probably going to take that. <laughs> Especially for, like, Nemesis. Even if we do go infinite. How, how, how easily can we go infinite in the first place, I guess, is the question. We got, we got four stasis slots, right? So that's one, two, three sentry blasts. Well, let's, let's get rid of powers and exhausting stuff. Uh, one, two, three, four, five... Six, seven, eight. Suspension and exploit gems don't count. Nine, ten. This is getting socketed for eleven. That leaves us with... And then this exhausts, so twelve. So that leaves us with five cards, which is exactly how much we draw every turn. I don't think I even counted the fourth stasis slot, so we're already able to go infinite. Uh, yeah, literally the only thing that could get in the way is... Statuses, I guess? Nah, screw it, I'll take it. If it still isn't good enough, um, I'm going to make... I, I'm going to leave feedback. If this if this still sucks, even like if I face Nemesis with five burns, even in the best case scenario for Repulsor to be good, I'm... Uh, I think this will be proof that Repulsor absolutely needs changed. Even though I am playing in normal mode. Not downfall. Alright. Upgrades. Do I care? I mean, five more block could be something. Time bomb upgrades could be something. Don't need sentry blast upgrades. Uh, upgrading sentry blast would only get us the plus two damage on the first thing. The weaken and the brace would still come after anyways. I could upgrade repulsor, actually. It does nothing for this fight. But I guess if we're not prioritizing campfires in the next act, then maybe we go for a bunch of elites and then we don't get a campfire for a while. Yeah. So we want Nemesis for that. Oh, also Reptomancer wins the deck. I always forget about that. Somehow it never seems relevant. Which is strange, but perhaps true. Yeah, by the way, 64 HP. If I had used that Polish Oil, it would have been wasted. Takes it down to 20. I think we should play Spirit Shield. We just... We just exact blocked three turns in a row? What is this? Wait, can we hit the infinite already? There's no way, right? Let's get Curl up in there? Oh, it's so close. Let's do this and then play suspension. See if we get like repulsor in play. Uh, it doesn't look like quite yet. I can put roll attack in though. I need time bomb. 
Oh, we're about to split already. Uh, this gives me another 10 block, yeah? It doesn't matter. Oh yeah, infiniting with uh, the curl up plus is actually pretty good too. Isn't it? I was about to say, does this infinite even do anything? But yes, it does. We have floating orbs. Funny. Yeah, I'm just gonna get the kill now. In fact, I think I can... I can play Time Bomb here. Yeah, and the Roll Attack, even. Make it a little bit faster. Because we draw two with this. Oh, right. Gotta put a card into Stasis. Gotta keep an eye on that. Don't wanna ruin an infinite over something stupid like I almost did that one run. Alright, cool. <laughs> that was a four turn kill, I think. Maybe five? Ancient Potion. You don't have to worry about Sneko or Chosen anymore. We didn't see either of them this act. How many hallway fights did we take? One, two, three, four. Neither of those were. Huh. Interesting. Uh, no, no, and no. All of those would just make this worse. And yes, compile package counts, right? Unless somehow the packages, one of the packages works. Because you always have to choose one, and whatever package comes out, you can't just delete it. So that wouldn't work. That would work. That would work, I guess. That would work. That would not work. I guess it kind of would work. I don't think we need it. So, no. I would have, I would have taken a stasis engine, I think. <laughs> I have one defend. Take Pandora's box. Take Coffee Dripper, honestly. Like, resting is the one thing that matters most in the late game at this point, but we also don't have to because we're so strong. We don't want Wander Bots. We have four, so it's not as punishing, but it's still punishing with our deck. So, yeah, just take the fourth energy. We'll use it to play Construction Form, be able to play two two cost cards. I have noticed a little bit of energy hunger. It's not much. This will probably solve all of it. Uh, we're fighting Time Eater, but that's okay. We do so much damage, probably we'll be fine. Maybe. Uh, we have another shop at the end of the game, so we don't have to take one now. Let's mark these on the map real quick. I'm seeing four elite routes on the map. Or, I guess, one four elite route, specifically. Which I am very much feeling like taking. Uh, and uh, that means I can't take either shop that's showing up here, right? Okay. I can go for more events, though. I like events in Act 3. Both because they're really good, and also because I don't have to fight Darklings. I want to play Stas uh, Spheric Shield. This is not Stasis Engine. We don't have Pen Nib, so there's no point in keeping this until Time Bomb, I guess. I think we still have to kill one of these fast. Maybe wasn't necessary. Another suspension plus. Oh god. Um, still no though, I think. We don't have to deal with Haunted. So like, it's not like we're gonna lose the cards. If I got a, another Quartz, this would be good. But honestly, I don't really care. Uh oh. Oh no, my Sentry Blast. No, I don't want to give up the Sentry Blast. Give up the Repulsor? I might need it. I'll give up the Sentry Blast. I have three of them. Give me another one, though. Oh, it's Hexo. I guess if I had put a Defend in, I would have been able to get it out next turn.
Put this in, then use the Twin Slam, because it accelerates twice, gets both of them. This also frees up an extra space in stasis. So our infinite mate is better and easier. Alright, here comes the burns. That's alright. We now have the infinite. And yeah, I might as well just do it. Because neither of them are attacks, and we get to preserve Pen Nib for Time Bomb. And with the Act of Echo, honestly, just any attack would be nice. Shovel? Wait, that's something to do at Rest Sites. And you're telling me I don't have to fight Elites for it? Oh my. How would I like another Amber? <laughs> Amber for exploit gems? Amber for roll attack? A third time. We don't need a third time bomb. Not not at all. Uh, with Guardian gear, um, roll attack is enough for. Roll attack and time bomb are enough for Repto. <sighs> I think we do take a third Amber, though. Do I care about this? Probably more than Brute Sharpness. Would I remove any other card from my deck than a Defend? Because I could just go right. Sacrifice an Elite for that. Although, sacrificing Elite... Actually, I go through here to dig at those sites. Because I have something to do at the sites now, and I don't have to fight Elites to get stuff. Not looking for cards, potions, or gold. Oh hey, we can get this out immediately. Wow. Let's see the map again here. I'll think about it. Skip. What else would I remove? Twin Slam, I think, is okay. Like, we don't have to remove any more because our our uh, infinite's pretty good. I could remove the roll attack. I guess that's something I could do. And uh, our card remove is still 175. Actually, it's 150 right now. Because uh, we got the uh, Ancient Writing event in Act 2, which got, gave us a card reward for free. Yeah, Roll Attack might actually be good to get rid of later. I can get rid of Defend at this next store, and then after we are done ref with Reptomancer by Act 4, we get rid of this. But I have enough gold, though. 150. These are at 49. 30, 60... 90, 120. 120 plus 49. Oh, that's really close, actually. Yeah, it's actually pretty close. I might not have enough gold by then. That would really suck. But I guess there's a chance. And if I'm getting the shop there any the way, then, like, why not? I'm not even sure this is 120, 150 right now. It could be 125. I don't remember. No, 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 it was 125. I got that and the Spheric Shield for 200 total. Screw it. If we get gold in the chest, then we're guaranteed it, I think. We're nearly guaranteed it. Yeah, 150. Um, yeah, I don't want anything else in the shop, so goodbye, defend. Alright, let's high roll some gold costs. Amber and exploit gems. Yeah, we're getting rid of roll attack, maybe, so... Dig. The boot. Gives me... Uh, unless I'm weak, it doesn't nothing. 
Also, uh, getting rid of more cards means that if we fight Awakened One, our infinite's much easier there, too. Ah, yes. Uh, thankfully, this should not interrupt the infinite. Uh, accelerate like that. So long as we get, uh, so long as we play our powers and our exhaust, exhausting cards. In fact, it gets us more plays of Sentry Blast pretty often. That's not the card I want in Stasis. This is... maybe... no, this one. Because I want to be able to put something back into Stasis. If possible. Oh wait, Suspension puts a card back in this stasis. Yeah, we're just totally fine. Blue Candle, that's interesting. Gem Cannon again, no thanks. Also Emergency, but we don't need that. Bike Energy Drink... Eh, helps us accelerate faster than Flex Potion would. Dig. Ice Cream, okay something, I guess. Meat on the bone, useless. Glad I took the other two, I guess. Like, this has done something. 26 HP? Actually, let's take a look to... Oh, wait, hang on. I can go this way. Did I get gold in that? I don't think I got gold from that. I think I got exactly 30 from this fight. Interesting. But yeah, I can avoid this elite fight and take the... Oh, wait, take avoiding the elite fight gets me less gold. Okay, yeah, we're gonna go for the thing. Yeah, it doesn't count any HP that we overheal, so... Let's just do this. This is already enough damage to kill those, so... I still want to get as much value out of Repto damage, though, so... Okay, no wounds so far. That's cool. We got construction form out, so I didn't need to block anymore. We're gonna have a kill very soon. Regal pillow. <laughs> Good combo. Uh, do I have room for emerald? I think I just filled up all my spaces. Yeah. Well, roll attack might be removed. How much did I get from this one? I started at, what, 79? So I got... 26? Okay, that's less than average. I don't need that. I need average or higher. I need this to give me another 70 gold somehow. Which is 10 more than average. That's reasonable, I guess. Probably not gonna happen, but it's possible. Order. It's all right. Weaken isn't enough for this. So I guess we do construction form. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. Keep skipping. That was nine gold. And we're really not on track for the 175. Okay, I guess we just play powers. Interesting. 57. asking for trouble. Looks like we got another 9, which means it's still technically possible to get the 175. In fact, maybe I'd go this way. Get another chance here. But yeah, uh, gold dis distribution for hallway fights is 10 to 20, and for elites it's doubled from 20 to 40. So... It's like a 1 in 21 chance that we get it. Like we didn't get Nemesis this act. That's good, I guess. Oh, hey, the boot went off. <laughs> Stats, though. Done six total damage. Wow. That means it went off at least twice. Eternal Feather, okay. So now we have a way to heal back up. That's cool too. Don't need these, don't need a weak potion. 164. It's actually pretty close. We need another 11 gold. Wait, I don't even need to go to the question mark. I can get a pretty good chance at this by going this way. In fact, there's only a 1 in 11 chance to miss. Game, don't you dare let me down. I will be so ha uh, sad. Yes, that is the word I was thinking of. Uh, let's try to do it here. But my, my hand went too far. Um, let's do this. We don't need Repulsor. 
So let's just... Just accelerate that out. All right, we made it. Body crash. Nah. <laughs> I feel like we've seen a lot of rares this game. Just skipped a bunch. Can't can't dig here. It's all recall. All right. Now we just gotta get enough defense early on to last us the rest of the fight. Can I play twelve cards this turn? One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Wow. Uh, if I had more energy, I could. Guess what? I have more energy. Yeah. So yeah, this is to accelerate, this is to accelerate, and with two cards in stasis, this is to accelerate. So we get six extra card plays on these. Now I guess the question is, do I want to use Polishing Oil here? And honestly, at max HP, I think we're good. We'll take a bit of damage, but that's fine. Also, rolling the clock over is super important turn one. I could have decided not to, but we're going to be playing so many cards every turn that getting to 12 and not being super limited uh, is, I think, really important. Alright, let's put that in. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Not quite enough. So I guess I play Spheric Shield? Which sucks, but... I could also do Construction Form here. That may even be better. I keep one buffer. I keep Spheric Shield for later. I scale up Strength, which is important against this. I only get five cards this turn, but that's how it goes. Do you get to enter Defensive, though? Three, four, five. That'll do it. Next time we draw that slimed, it'll be repulsed. We have to exploit gems for this turn. kill. What if we can do 150 or 141 damage? Maybe with a hand like this we can. Good shit. Alright, now Wagen won. Which we're probably gonna let construction form go and not play Repulsor, so. Although there are voids, if we get the infinite going, they're not gonna get a chance to put them in. They won't even get a chance to do their 40 damage attack. Um, we wanna put Sentry Blast in, so this has something to accelerate. Just start with that. Alright, oh, floating orbs. I need floating orbs in play. Okay, that's fine. That's all good. 
No need to panic. Take a little bit of damage here, I guess. That's alright. Fourteen. Now, we didn't get our other time bomb. This is the middle one. Oh, well, forgot about Pendib. That's all right. Wasted damage. Do this for a while until we build up enough strength that this does stuff. Guess I can do this too. Uh, we'll put this in now. Draw two. I don't even need these entry blasts anymore. Play the powers. Heal back. Well, not quite. I got 26 temp, temp strength. Imagine we had impeccable effects. Again. Oh, does this get awkward now? Because I have too few cards? Doesn't look like it. I can do this, which is a little weird, but it works. All right, all right, there we go. We can use Twin Slam to generate extra cards. That's really funny, I like that. At least as long as we have energy, it generates more cards. Anyway, you die now. Alright, that was cool. So, is it going too far to say that this is the reason that removing two at the start of the game is such an incredibly broken bonus? It might be a little too far. Red Candle. Okay. Strips Artifact, right? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Wait. Hang on. Better than a card remove? It's also Flash of Steel in case I didn't hit the card, uh, the, uh, the infinite yet. Uh, what would be good enough for uh, infinite here? Exploit gems, maybe? Maybe a second spheric shield? Ugh, I don't know. 
Second Spheric Shield wouldn't be so bad. We are doing very well in terms of our infinite. We don't need to remove another card. In fact, the, the roll attack has been alright. Maybe it is better to dupe. Or to use Master of Strategy to get the infinite online even faster. Although, duping exploit gems is also kind of in that realm. It doesn't exhaust. Also makes it that we don't have to constantly put cards in stasis to... to conduct the infinite. Also, also, it's draw two instead of draw one, which means that um, even with statuses, we're more immune. Yeah, let's do that. Let's let's keep the exploit gems. Also, 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 four, three. Anyway, uh, accelerates, which means Century Blast can be played indefinitely as well. Which means more brace, which is great. I have nothing to put into stasis yet, so let's just get all cards. All right. Get this in there. I don't think I can kill quite yet. <laughs> but I probably want to keep myself from taking a bunch of damage if I can. Okay. Time for the burns. Pulsers are a little bit late, but that's all right. We're taking 25 here, but that's okay. I think polishing oil is going to be more important versus the heart anyway. We're not in any danger of dying here. We just have to deal with the burns. really wish we had drawn that repulsor earlier in this fight. Time bomb. 50 damage. Good shit. Soulburn's not gonna even get to go off. You're dead. Three turn kill. Whetstone. Okay. Thanks, I guess. All right, here we go. No construction form this fight, I don't think. Well, actually, it's kind of important to blocking the big head, huh? We really wish I had Repulsor right now. Two, three, four. Eh. Guess I could use polishing oil. That probably is a good idea. Just start it now. Do this more than twin slam because we already have extra stacks of weak. All right, let's get this started. Please give me repulsor this turn, or at least enough card draw to not care about these. Wow! Not only did I get repulsor, I drew no statuses. So hopefully this will do something. Oh, I did your slimed. <laughs> okay. At least I can get rid of that one. Looks like I'm going to lose buffer, though. Uh, okay. I might just die to a big attack then. It's uh, unfortunate timing. I do have severe shield, but it might not be enough. I get extra turns of um, defensive mode, though. Which might help. We're at 62 right now. Okay. So we're still rather safe. We do still have to keep an eye on our block. 
I didn't realize. Oof. I think, I think we still win this because we can make an infinite w involving curl up, which will give us more defensive mode. It'll just be kind of difficult. Let's get rid of anything in our deck that can make this more difficult. Can't play any more cards. Sheesh. Maybe I don't need the Sentry Blasts anymore? I played it already. Yeah, I might just lose this. I, uh... Maybe... Maybe, um... Overestimate my ability to block with Brace and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I don't see a way out of this one. That was really dumb. This would have never happened against Niao. Maybe playing construction form so early was the problem. Maybe I needed to guarantee that I got it on the big hit. That probably would have done it. At least it would have done something. Blocking a second multi-hit would have been difficult, but maybe with the infinite I would have done enough damage that it didn't matter. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what to say about that one. Regardless, though, I hope you enjoyed the episode. I hope you stick around for future ones. If you do, I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.